I'm coming from from the grave. The early 90s, HIV ish, was a disgrace. I listened to the radio, they were talking about HIV. I remember that they have told me that when you have HIV, you have the virus in your body, then every sicknesses come to you. So because of the symptoms, I decided to go and test. I was afraid. Maybe they're going to tell me that I'm HIV positive. By the mid-90s and the early 2000s, there was a real question about whether Eswatini as a nation would survive. He said, are you ready for your result? I was shaking. Then I breathed in first. She gave me water, I drank water, then she told me that I'm HIV positive. I cry. Was not that I'm HIV positive, was that Am I going to die? At that time, there was widespread recognition that many people weren't going to be eligible to receive treatment. I was very, very sick for roughly two years. I even been in a coma for two weeks. While I was in a coma, I could hear everybody. They used to say, this person is already dead. Let us take off the oxygen. I was thinking of my son. Who is going to take care of him? And I was praying to come back to the world. When HIV AIDS was declared a national disaster, the country had uh, outlined a policy against HIV, and the policy articulated the multi-sectorial approach that is needed to respond to HIV and AIDS. When I started ARVs, in two weeks' time, I was more strong, getting stronger. Why I got sick? I was not thinking that I would have a baby at all, but I got pregnant. I was afraid that ish, this child was going to be HIV positive. Fifteen years ago, transmission from mother to child about 34% of the children that were born were HIV positive. Now, less than 2% of the children that are born are HIV positive. My son is HIV negative. It's where my new life began. I used to go to the community to tell people, hey, I'm HIV positive. I used to ask, have you got tested? When I was going around um, helping other people about HIV, I was hired to be an expert client. Expert client counselors are just critical. These are HIV positive, ART inherent, who have been trained to provide counseling here in Eswatini by the Ministry of Health. They serve as champions for their clients to help them absorb the shock of diagnosis, to cope with living with HIV, to testify that they themselves are doing fine living with HIV. Eswatini is the only country that had a survey of HIV new infections in 2011 and then repeated that survey in 2016 and 17. And as a result, they saw a 44% reduction in new infections. It meant for the first time we had tools now that we showed worked. Actually, doing programs made a difference. We are now families. With PEPFAR and with the work that's being done, the story of Eswatini is a real success story in terms of a country that wondered if it would survive as a nation to now a country that's fully functional and looking towards the future. When I look back where I'm coming from, I think God take me from the grave to tell the people to live. <laughs>